BBC Three now in a story of racial tension in the Deep South based on the work of John Grisham. An all-star BAFTA tribute to Victoria Wood on BBC One and here on BBC Two, a country legend. It's Hank Williams. The last thing I remember is seeing one of the girl's foot come down onto my face and then that was it. I was blacked out. You had bruises on my legs, my back, my chest, everywhere. I always ended up with bruises somewhere on my body. A 14-year-old girl stripped on the school playground by a group of 15 bullies, made to kneel down, begged for her clothes. Photographs were taken and circulated around the school. On camera one, coming to two next. What's How much advertising space are you sell it selling now? If I can defer my business plan. Um, Unless it's in your head right now and you absolutely know that, I'm not going to put my money and trust you with my money unless you okay. know that like that. Boom. If you really believe that I'm going to make money, you're going to look me straight in the eye now and you're going to tell me how I'm going to do it. I mean, I don't know what, what more I can say to you. The words aren't coming to me. The, the business what? Stand by studio. On air. Anita was taken into care at 14 when her mother's relationship with her stepfather broke down. At 16, she was housed in a bed and breakfast in concert and started shoplifting. The easiest thing for me to do was to go out shoplifting, go thieving, just anything to make the money to get by because I was making more money shoplifting than I would have working. Second verse, said Dylan. Slow movement. Dylan the Rabbit was named after Bob Dylan, which gave rise to the most enduring myth about the series, that everyone was on drugs. Yes, that is the modern myth, because we met all the university students who said, oh yes, early drug culture. <laughs> Absolutely not. Isn't it interesting how we put our own spin on things? That's a relief, panted Dougal. <laughs> All the pain and heartache of country music's first superstar now on BBC Two and how it all came to a tragically early end. Arena on Hank Williams. <laughs>